everybody. Welcome back to Good Night Lighthouse. I'm Miss Dorothy and I'm here to read you another story. And tonight I'm going to read you an Easter story. Easter is really close and Miss Dorothy has so many Easter books she wants to read to you. And tonight we're going to start it off with a great Easter story about Jesus and what happened on Easter Day. Do you know that in the Bible, this is Miss Dorothy's Bible, do you know that in the Bible it talks about what happened to Jesus? Jesus on Easter Day. I think I have it right here. Yep, I do. In Matthew 27, verse 57, it says, When the even was come, there came a rich man of Arimathea named Joseph, who also himself was Jesus' disciple. He went to Pilate and begged the body of Jesus. Then Pilate commanded the body to be delivered. And when Joseph had taken the body, he wrapped it in a clean linen cloth and laid it in his own new tomb, which he had hewn out in a rock. And he rolled a great stone to the door of the sepulcher and departed. That's what happened on Easter Day. Joseph asked for the body of Jesus after he died, and then he put it in a cave, and he rolled a really big stone in front of it. And something really amazing happened in that cave. And that's why tonight we're going to read a book called The Easter Cave. The Easter Cave. This is a book all about the cave that they put the body of Jesus in and the pretty amazing thing that happened there. We're going to have to get into this book and find out exactly what happened in the Easter Cave. Are you ready to get inside this book with Miss Dorothy? Good. I need you to sit up and listen up because here we go. The Easter Cave, written by Carol Wedeven, illustrated by Len Ebert. This is the cave the friend gave. Oh look, they're rolling the big stone in front of the cave. This is the cave the friend gave. This is the bird that crowed near the cave the friend gave. This is the king that heard the bird that crowed near the cave the friend gave. Look, it's Jesus and they have the crown of thorns on his head. This is the crown that scratched the king that heard the bird that crowed near the cave that the friend gave. Oh, look, the crown is so spiky it's making his head bleed. These are the men that made the crown that scratched the king that heard the bird that crowed near the cave the friend gave. This is the cross with nails that sting that stood near the men that made the crown, that scratched the king, that heard the bird, that crowed near the cave the friend gave. Oh no, look, they put Jesus up on the cross. These are the woman who cried that spring, that watched the cross with nails that sting, that stood near the men that made the crown, that scratched the king, that heard the bird, that crowed near the cave the friend gave. Look, those are Jesus' friends, and they're praying and watching him on the cross. This is the stone, a giant thing, that puzzled the woman who cried that spring, that watched the cross with nails that sting, that stood near the men that made the crown, that scratched the king, that heard the bird, that crowed near the cave the friend gave. This is the angel on shining wing that rolled the stone, a giant thing, that puzzled the woman who cried that spring, that watched the cross with nails that sting, that stood near the men that made the crown, that scratched the king, that heard the bird that crowed near the cave the friend gave. Look, the angel is in the cave. He rolled the stone away. These are the friends with good news to bring that heard the angel on shining wing that rolled the stone a giant thing that puzzled the woman who cried that spring that watched that cross with nails that sting that stood near the men that made the crown that scratched the king that heard the bird that crowed near the cave the friend gave. Look, they're all running around telling that Jesus is not in the cave that the stone was rolled away because he is not here. He has risen. Wow, that was amazing.
amazing. What a great book. What a great way to tell the Easter story about all the people who went to the cave and saw that it was empty. Jesus wasn't there anymore. He conquered death and rose from the grave. It was so wonderful. And then look, all the disciples found out about it and they ran around telling everybody the good news. Jesus is alive. He rose from the dead. Jesus lives and he lives today. This was so incredible. I loved reading this book. I love the Easter story. Now, Miss Dorothy has lots and lots of Easter books coming for you. The whole week is just going to all be Easter books about Jesus and about the things we do at Easter, about Easter egg hunts, about the Easter bunny, all kinds of great things. Some of our favorite friends celebrating Easter. And we're going to read about them together. So, I need all of my little bunnies to hop off to bed, get under your covers, get cuddled up, curled up, and ready for a really good night's sleep because I need you to come back every day and hear these Easter stories. And there's something else I need you to do every day. Do you know what that is? Yes, you do. Obey and obey right away. And then come back and see Miss Dorothy. I'm going to be sitting right here, ready to read another book to you. Bye! Thanks for reading with Miss Dorothy. I hope you enjoyed this book. And I hope you'll come back soon to read another. What's your favorite book? Drop Miss Dorothy a note and let me know. I'll go find it and I'll read it to you. Be sure to subscribe, like, and share. I'll see you soon.